everyone. I'm Cecilia. And I'm Rodney. This week we are hanging out at Cathedral Cavern State Park Campground. It is located in Woodville, Alabama, and I know you're asking where in the world is Woodville, Alabama. So tell them, Rodney, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> we are about 30 miles southeast of Huntsville and about 25 miles or so from Gunnersville. Yeah. 35 miles to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center and probably about 30 miles to the nearest restaurant. I'm, I'm, I'm probably exaggerating on that. Full hookups, that's a, that's a plus. Yeah, this is full hookup on this side other than they don't have cable. So baby, we're over here in the improved section. How many campsites are there over here? 25. They have a smaller section that does not have sewage that has about 11 yeah, sites. Yeah, I'd say 10 or 11. And in that site... Is the, is, that's where the bathhouse is located. Right, the laundry and the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Nice, clean facilities. However, if you are staying in the improved section, which we do like, I mean, it is, they are level, they are crush run sites. Surrounded by woods. The only problem is the other section is about a quarter of a mile away. So if you're one of those people that like to use the bathhouse, you can't walk it. It's a little bit too far to walk. And what did we find out this time? Oh, <laughs> we found out hey this guys. time. Hey, good. we're good, how are y'all? Campers are always happy. Um, we found out that e-scooters, which we have, are not allowed here. And he told us, the camp host told us, as I was riding mine, he flagged me down, called me over, scolded me. Um, he also said that they were not allowed in any state parks, which I don't know that to be true. Any Alabama state parks. Oh, well, okay, well, I still don't know that to be true because I haven't done my research on it. But he did say that they were not allowed here. And we did go back and look at the rules on the back of the map, and it does mention that no e-scooters are allowed. Yeah, which... we didn't read, well, apparently we didn't read the rules. I, who reads the rules when you check into a campground? They're all the same, pretty much. I mean, right? You would Why? think. <laughs> I just don't understand why you can have an e-bike and not an e-scooter. And let me say, when he told me about that, I did ask him, I was like, so you're saying my e-scooter is not allowed. What about an e-bike? He said, yes, you can ride your e-bike as long as you pretend to be pedaling. So anyway. I should have pretended to be scooting. <laughs> <laughs> And we, we could have been riding our scooters to do this review, but we're having a walk. We can't. So, babe, what are some of your, what are some of the things you do like about this campground? Oh, I do. I do like the fact that we're surrounded by woods. There's lots of hiking. I like the fact that there's at least, what, five trails? There's about five within, trails. Within the, state, within the state park. We can actually walk to the trailhead. Right. They're not long, but they are here, close by. My favorite thing about this park is that Cathedral Caverns is right down the road, and that is a, a beautiful cavern to go see. If you've never been there, you need to add that to your list. It's just, we spent the uh, afternoon there yesterday. They give tours. In fact, watch out for that video because we're gonna have one of those coming soon. So another thing that we sort of like is you're within about 10 miles of a place you can go kayak. Uh, it's not right here at the campground, but it's not too far away. But that's also, I guess, on the flip side of negative because it's not right here. So you can get there relatively easy to go kayaking. Uh, this place is not real close to anything else. I mean, I mentioned the restaurants were like 30 minutes away. Right. The uh, other section of the campground, I don't know if you can see this well, it's over there on that dirt road that goes over past the power fence over there.
So now we're walking into the unimproved section of the campground. Which I think was the original campground, right? Didn't they just add the other part on? Yeah, I don't know if they added the other part on or if they just converted it uh, into a better improved facility. But you can see here, they have a few pull through sites. There's no sewage over here, but they do have power and water. Everybody we've seen camping on this side have been in tents so far. That's a true statement. And up in front of us here, you can see the bathhouse and laundry room. So they do have the facilities. They're just not very convenient if you're in the improved section. But again, it's a fairly new campground. Mm -hmm. It's right here at Cathedral Caverns. It's relatively close to Huntsville and Gunnersville, if you don't mind making about a 30 minute drive. Cathedral Caverns is well worth the visit. And if you tell them that you're staying in the campground, you get $5 off the admission fee. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, we saved $10 yesterday, honey. So anyway, overall, the campground is well maintained. Again, close to hiking trails, close to Cathedral Caverns, not so close to anything else. <laughs> Which but can be a good thing. It's what a lot of people come camping for. Right. But that will conclude our tour today. We just thank you for hanging with the Harrises. 